I'm Emilio, lead vocalist of Sojourner, and I'm about to show you my house. Alright guys, welcome to my house. Entrance here, got some Avatar style lights. This scroll right here I got in Kyoto in uh, Japan. Um, really, really love this. Give you guys a closer look. Much pretty. Alright guys, now we're going to the kitchen area, so follow me. Uh, not much to say, of course, about the kitchen area. Just your usual stuff. Rice cooker, all the utensils and everything you need and appliances to make your food. Um, here, I got the few books I own. Got some Resident Evil ones. Actually, all of them are there. Just a few fantasy ones. Not a big reader, just what really, uh, you know, calls my, for my attention and stuff. Yeah, I got Squirtle and Pikachu. Yeah, since I was a kid, I've liked Pokemon. What's up? Um, this was cool. This is like a little kind of ride that you can go on in Osaka. It's uh, the Ibisu Tower. On there with a homie of mine. And uh, yeah, then we got the fridges. Picture of my dogs up here. Uh, so yeah, nothing but healthy food in there nowadays. Um, pretty much my morning consists of waking up, um, taking a shower, and then uh, basically getting my juice ready, which I'll show you in a second. If you want a healthy drink in the morning, this is really healthy plus tastes amazing and uh, then after that I go to the gym and I do my workout but uh, yeah if you want to see that drink here it is these are the ingredients you need to have carrots lemon ginger a few apples and a juicer that's all there is to it cheers oh, that shit is amazing this isn't a big place, so let's just uh, move on. Here you have my uh, CD collection. Um, I'm upwards of 600 right now, I think. Um, there you have the Sojourner releases. First album, Empire's Vash, Shadow Road, and then the latest one, Premonitions, out now on Napalm Records. Uh, here you have my drum set. Bought this a few years ago, maybe five or six, just to, you know, dabble on drums a little bit, and I'm not particularly good, but, <laughs> but it was fun. Uh, Roland TD8s, in case you're interested. Mapex double bass pedals down there. Uh, this area is actually my home studio. Um, Lenovo ThinkPad laptop, uh, Toneport UX2 sound card, uh, Logitech speakers, uh, SM57 microphone, obviously your pop filter, your mic stand. This is just, you know, a little bit of uh, everything Sojourner has done till now in terms of shows and everything. Um, I will get frames eventually, but if you haven't been in a Swedish Ikea, then you don't know what it's like to be in there to buy just something small. It sucks. Um, yeah, and then we're gonna now uh, move on to uh, some of my favorite uh, releases in from my collection. This is my little dude Milo. He's a Pomeranian, three years old now. He puts up with all the screaming and stuff and the recording and just the music blasting or the gaming, it's just everything. But he's a really, really good guy. He's a bit tired right now and wants me to leave him alone, so I think I'll do that. Right? No? Yeah? Yeah, okay, I'll leave him alone. <laughs> uh, so a few albums from my collection that I love. Not everything is metal. I do enjoy some like late 90s, early 2000s uh, orchestral trance. Um, these two are actually live sessions from Webster Hall. You got Trans World uh, Volume 5 and DJ Tau Taupa, I think it's pronounced. Uh, fantastic stuff. And then here we have, um, well, Linkin Park is a very important band to me. Uh, that's why I started. Um, and this is one of my most prized possessions. Their Hybrid Theory EP, uh, or demo, whatever you want to call it, from before they were at Linkin Park. Uh, this is an OG copy, by the way. Uh, the second press, not the first, but still hard to find and quite expensive. Um, one of the best bands to come out in the past uh, 10 years or so, um, I think they're a bit older than that though, uh, is Unleash the Archers with uh, Apex. Um, Phenomenal album, start to finish, and I'm really looking forward to their uh, to their new one. Uh, then we got Catatonia. What can you say about Catatonia that uh, you know you haven't already heard? Uh, one of the reasons we started Sojourner, Caladan Brood, Echoes of Battle, a masterpiece of a fucking album, and what I consider to be like the album that made you know basically they became the front runners of the genre for sure. And then another album that's extremely important to me is Draconian with Turn and Season Within. Um, this is actually the Korean press because it's the only way to have the song No Greater Sorrow uh, physically, because otherwise I think it's only on YouTube. Um, and yeah, just 
phenomenal album really shaped the path I took after, you know, like the first year starting out and everything like that. But uh, definitely. Uh, in the comments, list some of your favorite ones. I'd really like to know. Next, we'll move on to the living room, uh, which is where my fingers get their exercise. And by that, I mean gaming. Uh, couch there where I sit. Super addicted to Ghost of Tsushima, so my ass is on that fucker for several hours. 55-inch uh, Samsung Curve. Definitely one of the coolest TVs ever, and I recommend it. Uh, although I'm not a tech whiz, so maybe I could be totally wrong, and I don't know shit. Um, PlayStation 1 Classic, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and I got a PlayStation 4. And down there, it's the Classic Xbox and a Wii U. And I got a Nintendo 3DS somewhere, but I don't know where it is. More uh, Sojourner stuff and a Hate Eternal flag. Um, it's like Karenos Pagan Fest. Um, so this was when I was visiting Draconian guys on a tour they did. Warhorns, Dark Troll Festival, Black Winter Fest. This was during the Draconian Harakiri tour, Portugal. And, um, oh, this is from a club in Kyoto called Kitsune. And then here's the bedroom, which is pretty, you know, plain. <laughs> Oh, there's a keyboard here that I bought. Same thing with the drums. Not very good, but I try. So that's it for my house. Um, when it comes to like Sojourner inspiration and stuff like that, I uh, definitely want to show you guys a spot that I go to, uh, which really inspires me to, to write and everything. And I um, think it could be cool that you guys see that. All right, guys, so this is my spot. I just like to normally get on those rocks and just sit there and look out at the sea bridge going over to Denmark over there. Just a nice uh, quiet spot where even though we're in the city you still get to get away and you know don't have all the city sounds and everything like that. A lot of inspiration comes from uh, just sitting here. Um, thank you guys for tuning in to the Napalm Next Door Sojourner version. Uh, really can't wait till everything is over so we can get back out on the road and uh, you know play for you guys and uh, start touring this album. If you haven't picked up Premonitions yet you can stream it on all your major streaming services and you can pick it up on the Napalm Record Store, CD, vinyl, t-shirt, whichever you want. Thank you guys for tuning in. Catch you next time.